Hi there, my name is Matti Sulanto. I'm a photographer based in Helsinki, Finland. And in my previous video I reviewed this Lumix G 42.5mm f1.7 short telephoto lens. And in this video I'm gonna compare it to this Leica Noctichron 42.5mm f1.2 lens. And we're gonna see which one is the better of the two and which one to get if you're looking to buy one. It looks like the spring is on its way or eventually the summer. It's such a pretty day today. I decided to leave my beanie and my gloves at home. Both of these lenses have the same, exactly the same 42.5 millimeter focal length, which is generally considered as the portrait lens. But of course, these are suitable for all kinds of subjects wherever you need a short telephoto lens. This Leica Noctichron is a little bit older design. It was introduced in 2014 and this Lumix G came out in 2015. And what comes to build quality, the Leica feels more substantial of the two. It's all metal, it's heavy and it's big. When you pick it up, it immediately feels like a premium product. Uh, it has um, the um, Lumix or the Panasonic trademark for Leica lenses, the aperture ring. It also has two switches on the side for uh, the manual focus and the optical image stabilizer. The Lumix G instead, it's easy to mistake it for a toy, but that mistake would be a mistake because this is actually very well put together too. It's just so tiny that it um, doesn't give you the same solid feel as the Noctichron. But uh, the exterior is uh, metal and plastic together and uh, it also feels really, really high quality. And the lens hood is included uh, with both lenses when you buy them and that's very very good and another thing neither of these lenses is weather sealed not even this like a noctichrome even though it's a very expensive lens and now it's good time to take a look at some pictures that i shot on these two lenses In absolute terms, the Leica Noctichron is not a huge lens, but in the micro four-thirds world, it's a pretty big lens and it can almost swallow the tiny Lumix G. But that doesn't necessarily apply to image quality, and we'll see about that in a bit. The Leica weighs in about 506 grams, and the tiny Lumix weighs in at about 135 grams with a hood. And the Lumix, uh, the Leica has a 67 mm filter thread and the Lumix has 37 mm filter thread. The optical construction of the Leica Noctichron is 14 elements in 11 groups and there are two aspherical elements and two special glass elements inside this lens. And uh, the optical construction of the Lumix G is 10 elements in 8 groups. Both lenses have exactly the same focal length, 42.5 millimeters. But the Leica is clearly wider of the two. The field of view or the angle of view for the Lumix G is 29 degrees. I couldn't find the same value for the Leica Noctichron on any Panasonic official websites. Some camera stores use the same number for the both lenses, but I guess they just copied it from the Lumix G because they have, they have the same focal length. But as you can see from these two photos that I'm showing you, that the Leica is actually quite a bit wider than the Lumix. The maximum f-stop on the Leica Noctron is f1.2 and the Lumix G is f1.7. But in real life the difference is only about two-thirds of a stop, so it's not that big of a deal uh, at the end of the day. And the image stabilizer levels things out a lot. These both lenses have optical image stabilizer and that combined with the IBIS of the G9 or some other Lumix camera IBIS 
makes it very easy to get about half a second handheld sharp exposures. And also the Lumix T is very capable in low light, especially if your subject is not moving anywhere. The minimum focusing distance on the Leica Noctichron is 50 cm, but on the Lumix T it's only 31 cm. So it makes the Lumix T much more practical for some occasional close-ups. Of course, it's not a real macro lens, but it's still a big difference between 50 and 31 cm when you have to get up close. And then the bokeh, which is the highlight and big selling point uh, for the Leica Noctichron. And uh, there's no escaping the fact that of these two lenses, the Leica Noctichron makes more pleasing and soft bokeh at wide open aperture. But still, the Lumix G is not a bad bokeh maker either. So um, the Leica actually shines only when it's uh, at wide open aperture or almost wide open aperture. When you stop down these lenses, there's almost no difference in the bokeh. But since these are portrait lenses, let's take a look at some portraits. these lenses deliver excellent sharpness and contrast. The Leica Noctichron is the sharpest lens DxO Mark website has ever tested for micro four thirds. But um, the Lumix C is equally impressive and I can't see any difference when I look at the pictures that I shot on both of these lenses what comes to contrast and sharpness. Both of these lenses are truly very impressive in that regard. Both of these lenses show some vignetting wide open, but you will get rid of that by stopping down a couple of stops to about f4 or something like that. I personally don't mind about vignetting. I often add it in post, uh, so it's not a big deal for me. The distortions and chromatic aberrations are corrected in camera, so they are not visible and nothing to worry about. However, there is some so-called bokeh fringing visible. The Lumix G shows a bit more of bokeh fringing, but you can correct it to a degree that it's not distracting in Lightroom or similar software. The autofocus is really, really fast on both of these lenses and reliable. However, the Leica is a little bit better in some backlight situations where the Lumix G can struggle a bit. But then again, the Leica is a bit more noisier than the Lumix G, which is virtually silent. I'm not saying the Leica is noisy, but it's a little bit noisier. You can clearly hear the autofocus motor compared to the Lumix G. And let's see a few more photos that I shot on these two lenses. These lenses handle pretty well on the Lumix G, but the Lumix, uh, Lumix G9, but the G9 is uh, pretty big for a micro four thirds camera. And I don't think I would like to use the Leica on any of the really small micro four thirds cameras, at least for any longer periods of time because of its relatively large size and, um, and weight. But the Lumix G would be a good pair for any Micro Four Thirds camera body because of its tiny size. But then again, if you have uh, like a big photo shoot with lots of other gear, lights and props and whatever, then the size of the Leica Noctichron is uh, no issue, of course. 
If you're still watching, you probably like this video and you may also like my other videos. So before I go to my conclusion, can I ask you to subscribe to my channel and tap the bell so you won't miss any of my future videos that come out every Tuesday and every Friday. And now let's see which one of these lenses is the better lens. Of these two, the Leica Noctichron f1.2 is the better lens if you absolutely want the best and uh, money is no object and you don't mind about the relatively large size and weight but the lumix g is the uh, the better lens if you value the compact size and the lower price and still you don't want to make any compromises with the optical quality the price for the Leica is about 1600 euros or dollars and the price for the Lumix G is about 400 euros or dollars and that's a big difference and that can be a deal breaker for somebody. Both of these lenses make great pictures and the Leica can really stand out in the right hands but still at least I would be hard pressed to tell which lens was used just by looking at some photographs. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this makes you it easier for you to choose between these two if you have to choose. If you have used either of these lenses or both of these lenses, please leave me a comment below and tell me how you uh, feel about these lenses. Thanks for watching again and I'll see you next time.